So students, we now completed learning the meaning and the definitions of development. We also learned and understood the meaning of underdevelopment. We also understood how India is categorized as a developing country. Now we will go on to the second part of the chapter where we will be learning the indicators of development. So now we are beginning the second part where we are learning the indicators of development. What do we mean by indicators? Indicators could be taken as something like proof. I am going to consider this as the proof of development. Let's look at them. How do you think we should measure? I'm sure the economists would have come up with some idea. Let's look at what they have to say. So economists have advocated or they have said different indicators and the prominent one, which is the most important one, of course, we already saw it is income generated in a country. But do you think income is the only indicator? No, many other economists have said about a lot of different indicators. Let's look at them. First, we'll discuss the income indicator, then we'll go to the others. Income used here is national income. What is the definition of national income? It is defined as the income of all the people residing, living in the country. Higher the income, higher the development. Students, I hope you have noticed the difference between national income, which is given here, and the definition of real national income, which was the total volume of goods and services produced in one year in the country, which we learnt previously. Students, sometimes the national income may increase. But we still don't say there is development. Why? Because there will also be an increase in the population of that country. For example, let's say your household income was 10,000 rupees and there were just two people living in your home. You all can live quite comfortably. Now there is another house, house B, where there are 20 people to live in the income of just 10,000 rupees. So when there is an increase in population, there is development which slows down. So the comparison of economic development between countries with different levels of population, it will not be correct. Like for example, India is a highly populated country, whereas United States of America would probably have the population equal to Karnataka's population. Hence, per capita income, you all remember the definition of per capita income is the correct indicator and it's being used as an indicator of development instead of national income. So what is per capita income again? Let's relook at the formula. Total income of an area or of a country divided by the total population. It is asked almost every year for one mark. Although it's a very popular, it's a very popular, it's a very simple indicator. You have to just put the formula and calculate it. It does not consider distribution of income. What is the meaning of distribution of income? For example, in India, we have Mukesh Ambani, who is the richest man in the world. And we also have people who are the poorest of the poor. So there is such a large income gap. It also does not take into consideration the availability of basic amenities like food, shelter, education, health and other things. It just looks at income, divides it by population. Does it look at if people are having adequate education, health and other facilities? No, it does not. So they have made an attempt to bring all of these things into consideration and they have made another index. What is this index called? HDI, Human Development Index. In Human Development Index, they say that not just income, but there must be a basic quality of life every individual must enjoy. It takes it into consideration. It is increasingly felt, many economists around the world thought through this, that the primary purpose of all economic progress is enhancement of human welfare. It should help people to enjoy a decent quality of life. So to ensure adequate basic and minimum 
amenities. What are these amenities again? Food, shelter, clothing, education, health, social security, clean water, pure air, unpolluted environment and so on. Near increase, like even if you have more income, but if you don't have all these facilities, then it is not development. So, who came up with the Human Development Index? Mahabub ul Haq. He is a Pakistani economist inspired by the writings of Nobel Laureate, the Indian Nobel Laureate Amartya Sen. He argued that the most important requirement to enjoy a decent standard of living are 1. Ability to lead a healthy and a long life. 2. Being literate and having income to purchase the minimum amenities. So based on these three things, he developed this human development index. So what is the definition of human development? Amartya Sen defines human development as expansion of capabilities of people. The core, what are the core capabilities? Health, education and purchasing power. But how should we ensure that human development is happening? Let's look at it now. So the first criterion health, it is measured in terms of life expectancy. For example, let's say the minimum life one can expect if one lives in India is 60 while that in Japan is 90. So the number of years a person is expected to live is called life expectancy and if the health is good it will naturally reflect in the life expectancy. So the next one is education. How is education measured? Education is measured in terms of literacy by finding out what percentage of the population is literate. Finally, how do we measure the purchasing power of money? By per capita income. So there are three things, life expectancy, the literacy level and the last one is per capita income. Let's quickly review what is life expectancy. The age till which the people of a country can expect to survive is called life expectancy. Availability of nutritious food, excellent health and hygiene conditions and facilities, clean environment helps one to increase life expectancy. All of these factors are represented in life expectancy. As the education level rises, the country's economic progress also improves. So the educational achievement of a country is measured on what basis? Of two factors. The average period of schooling completed by individuals above 25 years. What is the first one? The average period of schooling completed by individuals above 25 years. So we go and survey all individuals who are above 25 years of age and check how many years of schooling they have attended. The second factor is the expected period of school education that the children of 5 years might receive in their lifetime. So the first factor is we are checking the education that is completed. In the second factor we are checking a expectation or a prediction of the future. The standard of living is measured with the help of per capita income. The average of all these three gives us the human development index. A single individual human being's human development index can be compared to another. It can also be compared by country wise, compare one country's HDI to another and so on. So this is used as an indicator of development to compare countries of the world. Students, you all might be curious, where is India's rank? Where does India stand in terms of its HDI? Let's look. The HDI of India has been rising steadily since the time of independence. In 2014, HDI was calculated at 
six. And what was India's rank? 135 out of 187 countries. If you all see, we have a long way to go. Students, it might be of your interest to know that the UNDP classifies countries. In the previous part, we saw the World Bank makes a report and also classifies countries as high, middle and low. India was in a middle economy, so we got classified as a developing country. Let's look at how does UNDP classify the countries. Again, three categories, high, medium and low, but not income, human development. High, medium and low, human development countries. India again is in the middle group of human development. There are statistics given in your textbook in the figure which says what was the per capita income, what is the life expectancy, in different years what was the human development index of India. Please read that and know them for yourself. Now let's move on to the next topic.